clearly defined. It is a world that is difficult for outsiders to penetrate. But that's exactly what happened when four country boys from Arkansas used corporate marketing techniques to take over the city's drug trade. Believing that they were above the law, they boldly videotaped their activities. Mighty, mighty, mighty. We rich. Damn it. The country boys who yeah. quickly monopolized Detroit's Street drug trade were the Chambers brothers, Billy Joe, Please. Larry, Willie Lee, and Otis. They were small-time marijuana yeah. dealers who cornered the market in crack cocaine. It blossomed into a yeah. drug distribution network, the largest crack cocaine distribution network ever prosecuted in, in the United hey, yeah. States. Mm. Two yeah. to three hundred crack houses. Mm. You never had to recook the product and lose some weight just to get the bacon soda and isotol off of it. I've been seeing the days when you could turn a little eight ball to a big eight in a month, probably. Back in them days, you can make enough off the crumbs and crack to pay for all of it. I grew up around alcoholics that had scholarships, but instead of going off to college at Morehouse or Howard, he ended up at Snap Morehouse drinking ice houses and 40 ounces. That's how come most of us stuck and ain't gonna escape public housing. The streets make us feel safe till they start closing in around us. Now the only way we feel safe is through violence, especially with the way it is now. We all better take precaution and the state don't have self-defense laws, so at the end of the day, we gotta prove it was a justified reason for why we shot him. And that must be because our skin color who we are probably you never did a drive by and roll by and did it again the next morning i remember going to pick up a load of narcotics a whole lot of it coke and marijuana then i hide the product inside a box of fabric softener just in case a racist state trooper happened to stop us and pull us over hoping to catch a whiff or odor or anything that's not normal so fuck the law enforcement yeah and all the task force departments because all they ever did was harass me every time they saw me nigga crazy Hey yo, you ever ask yourself why we live a fast life to die a slow pain for death? And these streets we love so much can care less. I done seen shooters mix fentanyl and meth, then injecting in whatever spot their veins ain't collapsing. In fact, some go on to quit after rehab. But most of them just get it on it again. I guess the sickness from the addiction made them relapse. I really lived and seen this up close. I have unconscious fiends that fight and swing after being brought back with a hit of Narcan. And how can I forget all them times being locked up behind bars alone in my cell, asking the Lord to forgive me for all the sins I've been involved in. Even though as soon as I get out, I might commit them sins again. I guess being dedicated to the streets and its codes is the only way I know to live. And before I bring any one of them, I wouldn't want to live. Yeah. Seen the paperwork. He Crazy. You know, he about to set up a hundred motherfuckers. You know, that's how that shit go. Man, you stay solid, nigga. Some of us gonna make it. Some of us ain't. Uh -huh. That's just how it gonna be. Uh -huh. Real shit, man. That shit hurt me. But I see yeah. you playing the way you should play. Okay. I'll share one of mine with mm -hmm. you. So, this, this is a genuine friendship oh, yeah. thing I'm talking about. When you dedicate yourself yeah. to doing it. Mm. They, they say it hurts when you gotta kill a nigga you love That's why I ain't never involved my family in none of the business that I ever done Cause I done seen money bring the devil out of some And nine ain't nothing but hate inside of them instead of love To the point they start stealing from you and trying drugs And sometimes it get worse How much you think it hurts seeing your cousin standing up pointing you out in court That's why I don't tell nobody what I'm about to do or where the fuck I'm going Not even my mom And ever since 2001 I learned from losing my father to shoot first and ask questions later on Cause we was all born and live and die when we get old We ain't supposed to die young and become old memories for our loved ones to hold on but when you live a street life dying by violence is the norm that's why i'm surprised you so-called street guys buying all these diamonds instead of guns so either you lying or exaggerating which one i could imagine what you would have done if you seen the shit that i saw blood coagulating around extra wounds made by ar you probably would have ran and told the law but if i happened to see you before court you wouldn't have showed up at all nigga uh-huh crazy Nah. Streets daily. DA. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey man, this is this. I'm making this video for my family and friends, man. I'm probably gonna kill myself. I don't wanna live no more, man. Look, man, let me tell y'all something. Y'all probably wanna know what's wrong with my neck. 
Well, I've been having the deck brace on for four or five days, I caught my old lady cheating on me, right? I come on to the house, man, because I was sick, you know what I'm saying? I had to shit at work. I got tired of shitting at work, so I just come on to the house, man. I come to the house, man, she in there cheating on me, man. Me and the nigga get into a fight. The nigga put me in one of them UFC moves and shit. I tapped out, and the nigga wouldn't let go of my motherfucking neck, y'all. <laughs> Lucky the goddamn neighbor heard all the commotion come over and got that nigga up off my ass and shit. It took me a while to come to. When I came to, I got on the body like a scowly dog. Shit, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it 100. Nigga got dead on my ass, though. But she don't want me no more. She go, she go, no, she ain't no motherfucking real woman, y'all. She gonna send me a text, the rogue and shit. I went to the school to see my son. He told me that the nigga done bought him a, a PlayStation 4. All the shit that I can't buy. <laughs> The nigga gon' call my phone, I'm talking about nigga, this is house now and shit, and that shit, I better, I better motherfucker, I better motherfucker make sure I pay last month, bring the shit, he gon' kick my ass again, you know what I'm saying? That's my whole ass shit, y'all. That's a whole ass nigga, I'm letting y'all know right now, man. If I kill my motherfucker self, I won't try to ride for me. Yeah, I won't try to ride for me, man. I'm already sick, I gave him my all, y'all. I can't get this by all, oh, man. She gon' do me like that, man. And everything, man. She ain't never swallowed my shit, man. She, she ain't never moan with me during sex, man. I'm a homo, nigga. I'm keeping it one on So if I go, if y'all gonna hurt for me no more, I kill myself. I want y'all to raise my kids for me. Fuck it. I want y'all to teach my son to be a snitch. Fuck it, man. Ain't no sense in going to jail, man, for nobody else. I want y'all to teach my son how to be a snitch. Tell every goddamn thing. Fuck it. I'm a snitch. I don't give a damn. Oh, I wish I could die and come back and be strong. Like, who, who can I kill that bitch ass nigga? Y'all kill him. Man, it's boy, it's your boy, boy, tell y'all all the time. Man, I love y'all, man. Tell my mama, then fuck my grandma. Yeah. I need someone like you. Uh-huh. Somebody to help me. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Baby girl, I'd do anything in this world for us to get back together. Whatever it takes to make our relationship stronger so it'll last forever. Like it was when we first got with each other. I thought all them nights we held one another would last to the death of one of us. You remember how I used to kiss your forehead every morning and crack some eggs and fix you an omelet? I always cooked that just how you want it. And you would say, thanks, baby, I love you. You won't lie on, was you? Because I never lied to you. I might have texted some bitches and dialed a few numbers. But I never fucked not one of them. And God knows I ain't trying to hide nothing or deny who I'm in love with. Fuck it. I put my pride to the side in these type of discussions. You're going to be my wife and I'm going to be your husband. Yeah. Uh-huh. I promise. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Baby girl, I'll do anything in this world for us to get back together. Whatever it takes to make our relationship stronger so it'll last forever. Yeah. Uh-huh. Baby girl, I'll do anything in this world for us to get back together. Whatever it takes to make our relationship stronger, so it'll last forever. Uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Lost souls. Crazy. Hey yo. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey yo. Oh. I'm from where the drug dealers are at odds for the love of foreign cars so much that some of them will even help the police do their job. I've been through a lot, but you couldn't tell if I didn't bear these scars, especially the ones that's physical, but it's the ones mentally that almost tore me apart. And every day I thank God for the time he gave us with Myra here on earth. At first I was upset and hurt, like why her? Then I realized the good do die young, like they say in church. So either my job not done or I haven't been good enough. And Lord knows everything we go through and what our intentions were. So I guess that's why I'm in love with music again. That must be what he put me here for. I could be the one to get our foot in the door. And it ain't about money with me because I learned how to live good being poor. And you niggas never heard no one from the south with a New York flow like this since cold. The only difference is my shit give you a vision of the streets and the things I experienced in the trenches and the crack holes, nigga. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. Hey, yo, we lost souls, brought up in the street life, taught to ignore the cops, never talk to them if they come. Fuck the law, we only abide by our codes. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, yo, we lost souls, brought up in the street life, taught to ignore the cops, never talk to them if they come. Fuck the law, we only abide by our codes. Yeah, uh-huh. forces and you get it you get the art of it bro and you make the shit beautiful like the slummiest gutter and hey, shit yo. bro you turn that uh. shit into a Moscow Stacey I was raised in an insane, violent environment where the J's brain side comes with methamphetamines and oxycontin. The same place where cocaine prices fluctuate nightly. And consignment just as good as scholarships. Hell, it might as well be because I done seen a lot of niggas go to college and still didn't turn out to be shit but motherfucking fiends outside stealing shit in the streets. So when crack houses with me trying to get a piece on credit till they get their food stamps on the 15th. I write my lyrics off things I experienced or things that I seen. Now I'm trying to go from living in the scope reckless to signing contracts with Interscope Records and Jimmy IV, nigga, crazy. Uh-huh, Streets Daily. It's like we seem to get punished different than anybody else because the color of our skin, you know, is fucked up. Crazy. I hope it should change sometime. Uh. Thank God I live long enough to learn and ignore things that's going on that don't concern me or no one that I love. And not that I'm scared of anyone because I only fear the one above. I was just reminiscing a moment ago about how me and Nick used to hit licks and neither one of us wear gloves. Sometimes I wonder did they punish him and give him life for some of those crimes that he knew he had done and I don't wish death on anyone and I know it was wrong but Nick really ain't killed no one. They just convicted him for the shit he had done and never got charged for. I just hope that he get out and have a chance to come home instead of being behind a wall walking a prison yard in Lawnburg when God start to call his closest loved ones home. He already had to suck in there and be tough for losing his brother's Sean, and I just hope that I'm rich when he come home, that he can get anything that he wish when he come home. They gave him parole, yeah, and life only 25 years where we from, and he already then gave 16 back to him. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh. Allegations that you are racist and that your testimony is crazy. Racist. What do you say to that? Well, it's, it's not true, but of course I have never been a type of person who will uh, argue for me. He argues that some 20 social factors can be used to determine if someone is likely to repeat violent behavior. Things like age, sex, socioeconomic background, education, drug use, and yes, race. The Chambers brothers operated like a major corporation using four to five hundred employees. Larry and Billy Joe were the chief executives running several divisions. Hey, no telling how much up there. For a jungle, I'll be three cars tomorrow. And the chief. <laughs> the sophistication of the Chambers organization was shocking. Even veteran law enforcement officials had never seen anything like it. They had every corporate marketing skill that is successful in legitimate business they had it they had it all they had rules regulations fines incentives for their employees they paid them well if these people had gone into legitimate business they, they'd probably uh, be very successful